So today we're going to do the uh, fisheries uh, practical. So you're going to participate in a, a proper fisheries survey um, and we'll be going out to one particular location. Uh, we're going to steam out of the Menai Strait, around through Puffin Sound. Uh, we can't sneak across the sandbank because we'll run aground. Um, around um, Puffin Island, so you'll see the seals on the uh, tip of Puffin Island as we go around. And then we'll come in, um, inshore, and we're going to fish along the edge of the bank. So the purpose of the fisheries um, survey exercise is to get an estimate of the population size of the fish in the local area in sort of uh, Conway Bay, Liverpool Bay and the local waters. Just before we start, is everybody feeling well and healthy? Yes? Okay. Now's your opportunity to get off if you're not. You can always come on another day. Yeah, at the moment we're, um, we're doing teaching trips for the university the first years, taking the students out. Um, in, into local waters um, and on the basis of marine biology. There's, there's quite a difference for being out in the field collecting and sat in the lab processing. So in a minute what they'll do is they'll start paying the net away and um, you notice the ship's steaming ahead all the time, that's to keep the net out of the propeller. So we obviously we have to use a, a, a legal sized mesh for our surveys. out to do a couple of trawls to do a fish sample um, in Colwyn Bay, um, just measuring the, the length of various species um, so that we can compare it over time. It's a long ongoing fishery survey that's been going on for like 50 years. 21. Just to check on fish stocks so it can be correlated towards temperature and other changes in the ocean. So it is quite important because if someone does suddenly start fishing, there is obviously ongoing stock information that's being taken. It's quite important to build up an archive so we know what was here, what possible changes man's causing on fishing and how we can help mitigate those changes. So um, how do you know, how can you tell this is a predator? It's got teeth. It has got teeth, yes, and it's got big eyes, that's right. It just gives you an idea of what it's going to be like when you're working out in the real world. Right, so we've got two species. Well, there's no doubt that coming out to sea on a proper research vessel is uh, just an unbeatable experience. It's all very well teaching students about the theory in the classroom and OK, they get to see the actual animals in the laboratory. But the most important thing is the experience of coming on board the ship. And right now we're going home through quite stormy water. It's not too bad though. 